Hello everyone, I had a friend recently request my art, art, artistic process and to show off how, how exactly I do my art, I've decided to make a bust of Bramble Star. As you can see, I'm just currently working on the... Sorry, I lost track of myself. I'm currently working on the underlayer. You know, what I'm gonna use to show my work or whatever. Now, I have drawn Bramble Star and Tiger Star before. But I'm always changing their designs because I can never uh, just s stay with one. I really should have scripted this, huh? Well, um. But basically, for my Bramble Star design, I want him to be physically imposing, but not scary. Like. He looks like he could kick your ass, but he also looks like he would share a beer with you. That is the point of my Bramble Star design. I might add bags and Nah, I'm not gonna add bags under his eyes. And I actually don't like Bramble Star that much, just saying. I'm only doing a simple bust because I want this to be a really quick video so I don't bore y'all with my stammering and talking. I don't talk very much so talking this entire time is going to be a rough ride. Oh, right, so, first I had one layer where I did the basic line art, <laughs> like the under layer, and now I'm going on to this second layer so I can do the actual line art. I don't know what it is, but I am literally obsessed of having characters peek out the corner of their eye at something. Like, I never just have a character looking directly straight at the camera. Don't ask why his ears are rectangles, I honestly don't know. Now you may be thinking, Ruby, how the fuck do you do this in normal paper? Well, I do it the same way I do it on here, except instead of using layers the underline is in light pencil 
and the normal line art is in pen. So I'm generally a lot more careful when I'm doing real art. You know, this is real art. When I'm doing um, traditional art, because of the fact that I use pen. And I'm not sure if you knew this, but you can't exactly erase pen. So if I have a shitty drawing, I have a shitty drawing, and there's nothing I can do to fix it. Alright, now that the line art is done, we're going to go back to our first layer, erase the under layer, and see what about this needs to be fixed. Okay, uh, for one, we can change these eyebrows. Well, actually, I think this side of the face is fine. This side I need to work on a little bit. Good enough. I mean, who here can actually draw eyes symmetrically? Alright. Now I want his ears pointing forward. And now we go back to our first layer and do the coloring part. Bramble Star is described as a thick furred, broad shouldered, dark brown tabby. And I am taking some inspiration from Tenille Flowers by giving him a sort of mane. Now, I like drawing Bramble Star because I don't really have a set design for him. Which is weirdly one of the reasons why I hate drawing Firestar. Um, so, I have a lot more creative freedom with how I can draw Bramble Star. Because I don't have any expectations from him. Mostly because I hate his guts as a character. So, oop. I'm sorry if this video is really long. I don't know how to edit for shit. I'm also sorry for not censoring myself. I know, this is- YouTube is a side hobby for me. I know I'm not gonna get paid for any of this.
Oh, by the way, I am using Ibis paint for this, so it might not work on something else like flip a clip. Just a quick heads up. the noses I don't usually do pink noses on characters I like to have either brown or gray noses so that's what I'm gonna be doing and then for his eyes I want to do it orangey color because that's what most people interpret to mean by amber so I go here to the orange and then I go to uh, very nearly but not quite white for the for the whites of the eyes and I just bucket that right in and then I go for the actual color I want let's make this a little bit redder And here we have a bonafide Bramble Star. And now I'm going to save that as PNG and stop the video. See you guys next time whenever I upload.